Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have more bad company on the agenda. Yes, I'm excited for this. Yeah, Phil loved the first one. Feel like making love was Feel fire. Feel like making love. Yeah, we yeah, made love song. after that one. <laughs> <laughs> I love making Sam blush, even though she doesn't blush. And no, I really did enjoy a bad company. Feel like making love. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, and I honestly don't hate me for saying this. I'm just being honest because we do so much material on the channel. I forgot about them. Well, it's easy because you hear so much amazing material that sometimes you forget like what to go back no, to. It or... had nothing to do with like them not being good. That's what I'm saying. Don't get mad about it. <laughs> I'm just like, we had done so much material. I forgot how much I loved Bad Company. Yeah. And I was like so excited to do them again. Yeah. And then I got swamped. We got swamped doing other material, yeah, whether it's requests, requests or, yeah. or, you know, other artists that we wanted to get to. And then, you know, we had written down Bad Company Shooting Star, which is what we're getting to mm -hmm. today. And it was like... You know, they just fell down the list. And so well, one now... thing I started doing is at the end of each, you know, time that we film stuff, I write down ones that I want to download so I don't forget about them so that I can keep them and remember them later yeah. on. Because if I don't, like three weeks will go by and I'll completely forget because yeah. we've done so many. And then I think back and I'm like, wait a minute, what about that song that I like? Yeah. So before coming to this one, I was so disappointed in myself. Like, how <laughs> did you forget about Bad Company? Because they were so good. Yeah. We did the live version and the studio version for Feel Like Making Love. So now we're going to get into our second song song yeah. from Bad Company. This is another studio version. This is a studio version. Cool. And like I said, I love the first one. So I'm really excited to check this one out. And uh, we vibed out pretty hard on mm -hmm. that last one. So yep. you ready to find out if we're going to do it again? I am. Let's do it. Let's roll. we get into an extended solo and I don't want to interrupt it um, pause quickly and we'll get back into it but I do love I, the similarity of the last one and feel like making love as soon as we got into it I just kind of recalled all the things I loved about feel mm -hmm. like making love and it that flows so nicely well yeah I think when you say flow you might be referring to the groove that yeah. it has and I think that they capture that with the use of the bass groove that they have alongside the hard snare drum yep 
and it really yeah, makes it the pop. The snare drum stands out a lot to yeah, me. Yeah, keep that nice steady groove throughout, which is complemented by Paul Rogers' great vocal. Mm-hmm. You know, it's so smooth. Yeah. You know, it, it, I really like the vocal on this. It, and it fits so well with that groove and the hard snare. His yeah. voice, you know, plays off that. And I think the spacing, the way they control the spacing with that groove is also fantastic. I mean, clearly the storytelling is standing out on this one too, right? Yeah. And I would think that you had mentioned his vocal, you know, how it sits in with the instrumentation, but I think that his vocal is also perfect and the clarity is really there for the storytelling, right? Like usually when there's a song with a strong storytelling aspect, sometimes I'm like, kind of wish we had a lyric video just to make sure I'm like getting the full context, but you don't even need it in this. Yeah. No, it's, you know where the story's going mm-hmm. so far. Johnny seems Seems like he's doing real he's well. Climbing the charts. He's uh, wanted to be a rock star, yeah. and he's becoming a rock he's a shooting star. star. Well, that's self-explanatory. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, you know, bad company so far is two for two for yep. me. Yep, I agree for uh, sure. All right, well, let's keep it going. Yeah. You are a shooting star.
So were you uh, celebrating Johnny's death there or what? No, it just got me like way into the groove with these nanas. <laughs> well, it's funny that they brought that in at the end because I was thinking while we were listening, I was like, this is kind of like a rock anthem. It's got an anthem feel to yeah, it. Yeah. And I then mean, they brought in the na na nas part and it's yeah, like that yeah. essentially punctuated that idea. For sure. I mean, it's also obviously very sad that he died. And obviously that had something to do with the drugs and the alcohol. And like, I'm assuming he was probably in that fast lifestyle of like addiction and all of that. But like in the back half of the song, like I didn't really feel like it was a sad, like no, death I, kind of vibe. I, it's, I don't think it's intended to be that way. Like yeah. the, uh, it's clearly way too upbeat and vibrant to make you feel sad. And like I said, it's got this anthem feel. I think it's more maybe highlighting the that issue um, in a way that will not allow you to forget about it. Yeah. Right? Because it wasn't an overly complex song either, no. right? It wasn't crazy intricate in any way. It was pretty no. straightforward with the hard-hitting rock and, you know, mm-hmm. uh, storytelling with the riff. And like we talked about the groove already. Yeah. So to me, it wasn't supposed to be something where it was, you know, emotionally. Like overly emotional. Yeah. The only thing I'll say is that I, I liked the portion towards the end where he was getting a little bit deeper in with his vocal. Like in the, the vocal, I feel like wasn't super like gritty or raw or like overly passionate or anything throughout the delivery. But towards the end, he was getting into a little bit more of like mm-hmm. that kind of like, that he's off, yeah. And then the, I feel like the electric guitar was really complimenting mm-hmm. that in that time, mm-hmm. that portion. So I like that. I feel like that kind of almost highlighted a little bit more of kind of that, like yeah. maybe sadness or emotion piece, but it wasn't like overly sad as a song. Well, yeah, like I said, I think it's supposed to be the moral of the story. Right. Yeah. And we've heard many times uh, about artists that have passed away. Right. Very early on, mm-hmm. you know, so many musicians that Usually pass away do too. Right. Because of that lifestyle. Yeah. So I think that's what they're discussing in this one. Also, the song title is called shooting star. Mm-hmm. So he made reference of, your, I can't remember the specific lyrics he used, but essentially said that your life passes by in an instant. Yeah. It's and, like a warm summer day. Yeah. So that is also representative of a shooting star yeah, because like, you see a shooting star in the, in the sky and it's gone. Yeah. Right. So he's talking about Johnny was a star, but he was a shooting star because he had the stardom and it left like immediately. So quickly, yeah. Right. And then all you have is blackness after that. Yeah. Right. So I think that was a cool play on the song title. Yeah, for sure. As well. And um, so, yeah, I, I enjoyed this one. It wasn't like I said, something that I was like, had to really break down mm-hmm. a whole lot with what they yeah, were doing musically. Complex. Yeah. But I do like that. I mean, we come from a hip hop background, right? Where it's just a little more straightforward in terms of a groove, groove and lyrics, right? Mm-hmm. This represented that, you know, I'm not saying this is hip hop. I'm yeah, just saying that there are the idea, the concept yeah. of a, a lyrical presence alongside a hard hitting groove, groove is something I resonate with because yeah. it's in my past, right? Yeah, so, for sure. but I like that I get to appreciate this from a different genre now. Mm-hmm. It's so cool, right? Yeah. And Bad Company is definitely my vibe, that's for sure. Yeah. And I mean, you guys saw me just getting right into that. We so. both were. Yeah. Yeah. No, I liked it. And like you said, it wasn't anything that was like, you know, too overwhelming but just like a good groove and a good song and like you said there are a lot of similarities between this one and the first one as yeah, well and, you know it's great vocalist at that yeah, too so getting a really good feel for like their style now yeah so we'll have to check out something else i think yeah. bad company the self-titled album and song name are uh so the self-titled song by bad company yes is another one you guys were suggesting so if we should tackle that one next let us know in those comments yeah. uh, we always appreciate when you guys come through and support our channel thank you so much for all the subscriptions yes, guys. So much, guys and uh, we hope we see you in our next video thanks for watching see you then